Where you from, bro? It's your boy G Money from El Dorado, Arkansas, repping D&B Entertainment. All right. Okay, bet. All right, so uh, El Dorado. I have a few people in here uh, from El Dorado. Uh, so can you kind of talk about what it was like growing up out there? Man, really, just like it was <clears throat> hooping, you know. Yeah. Just, you know, normal hood shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fit. All right. And um, you was what, born and raised there? Yeah. Well, I was born in Louisiana, but I moved okay. up there. It's like right up the street. Okay, okay. I yeah. got you. I got you. So you went to school in El Dorado and yeah. everything? Okay, okay. I got you. All right, bet. So, all right. So let's talk about, you know what I'm saying, when you was a little, a little young and a little kid out there. Uh, did you get in, the, in a lot of trouble? Nah, not really. Okay. Like I say, you know, I was on some hooping stuff. Yeah. After that didn't work, you know. Yeah. Got the rap. Okay, bet. Uh -huh. All right, so when when you start hooping? You Man, I'm, yeah, for sure. Okay, bet. And uh, did you play for the school and everything? Yeah, I played for the school. Okay, in high school too? Nah, not in high school. Okay. I, was, I was already, it was over with was by over then. With yeah, <laughs> it was over with by then. All right, okay, okay, all right. So, all right, so you start off wanting to, I guess, wanting to go to the league, probably. Yeah. When you were younger. All right, uh, at what age did you start picking up music? Really just serious. Mm -hmm. I was probably about 15, about 15, okay. about 15, yeah. About 15, about 8th, yeah. ninth grade? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, what's your opinion on the music scene in uh, either El Dorado or Arkansas, period? Well, El Dorado, we really just slept on. Yeah. That's all it is. Like, yeah. we got some of the hardest niggas, like, but we really just slept on. Yeah. And I'm talking about like everybody putting the work in and everything, but yeah. you know, first, like our city not really gonna support us like they should. So, you know, like that ain't gonna yeah. allow other people to just, you know what I'm saying? Cause if you ain't getting no, you know what I'm saying? Respect around your way, like, you know. Yeah, well, uh, have you worked with any artists from out there? Yeah, I don't work with j Tune for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't work with a lot of people. Yeah. All right, but is there anybody that you haven't worked with that you want to work with? Man, like, streets be steady. Me and Bag Rich, you know what I'm yeah, saying? okay. They be begging for that. Yeah, Bag Rich. He, he been doing that shit for a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but All right, now, as far as Arkansas as a whole, what, what's your outlook on Arkansas as a whole? I mean, probably probably like the same as the Raider, like, okay. they don't, like, our state really don't get behind the artists as they should you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> because like, you know, other cities and states like, by the time we hear about them in Arkansas, they already up. Like they already got the motion. They city and I already paid them five, ten thousand dollars for a show. Like, so you know what I'm saying? It's easy for anybody to catch that way, but yeah, yeah. like you getting it straight out the mud from where we from. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Real talk. Uh, that's a good um, a good point. Cause I I agree. I feel like. You know what I'm saying? I understand Arkansas is small, but at the same time, we got enough people to where you should be able to to get a lot of streams, a lot of views yeah. just from the people in your It ain't even about that. Like, yeah. I mean, with that too, yeah. but like, like I say about just, you know, like promoters, like if you know, you know what I'm saying, you got artists that can pack out a show, make you your money back and some, mm -hmm. like pay that man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, uh, if you like really know music, like you know, music operate out the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it really operate out the streets. So, yeah. so you, you know what I'm saying? You never really know until you see it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's so many artists like this getting a real bag off of music. Mm -hmm. Like you say, five, ten thousand followers. That ain't nothing. You, you know real talk. Right. So yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, Um, all right, so as far as, um, mm, so at, at what point did you really start seeing some real numbers and some real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you start seeing people from outside of your city kind of uh, rocking with your music. Um, like I said, off the rip, like, they sing a song, dropped a song called Leave Me Alone, you know, like, him or now. 
Oh, okay. And um, but the, you know, like I said, I was younger then, yeah. Yeah. and I was just on the hook. But okay. you know, like man, everybody singing this song. Every show we do, like everybody singing this song, like you know what I'm saying. What's the name of the song? It's called Leave Me Alone. Leave Me Alone. Okay. Yeah. I gotta go check it out. I heard it. What's, 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 what's the name? What, what name would be on it? Uh, <laughs> it? It'll probably be DMB. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. DMB, Leave Me Alone. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, speaking of DMB, can you kind of talk about what that is? Uh, well, it started, it started from, you know, like I said, the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was, uh, you know, like like I say, like we got family. I, like I was born in Louisiana, so we got family in Louisiana. So like, Dick and Boot, you know what I'm saying? Oh. That was like the Dick Dangerous East Side Crew, you know what I'm saying? Then you got the Boot, like Boot Boys, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know, just two clips colliding, and you feel me? Like like I say, but you know, it started with some. I mean, well, ended with some positive, <laughs> with the music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like now it's for developing new bosses, you know, like we on a whole nother level now. Okay. That's hard. I like that. I like that. All right. All right. Um, all right. So when it comes to um when it comes to like artists out of Arkansas or El Dorado or whatever, do you feel like you get overlooked? Like when when people start talking about Arkansas artists, do you feel like your name don't get Mentioned enough? Yeah, definitely. But I, I do I also know, like, I could be putting in my work. Mm-hmm. But, like, I do know, like, people don't see what I done done, too. And what, I, what, I'm, what I'm still doing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you got an album out or it's coming out? Yeah, just dropped uh, yeah. last month. Yeah, yeah, what's the name of it? Overcame it. Overcame, yeah, yeah. That's what I Make sure y'all go get that, you yeah. know. Yeah, for sure. Out on all platforms. Alright, so uh let's talk about overcame it. Um so you said it dropped uh last month. Mm-hmm. Uh how, how many songs is on it? Ten songs. It's an E P. Okay, it's an E P. Yeah. Alright, bet I gotta check it out. Um, who all did you work with on it? Uh Fat Boy. Uh-huh. Only artist only feature I got okay. on there. Okay. And he, that's the artist on the label, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Okay, bet, bet. And how how you dropped any Official singles from that? Yeah, I got uh, Like L.A. out, okay. you know. Like L.A.? Uh, amazing. Well, you know, we pushing pushing it. I don't think it dropped as a single, but it got, you know, that's when um, it got a video out to it and everything. Okay. All right, bit. All right, bit. Oh, yeah, Hunnets. I'm tripping like Hunnets. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's something we still promote for sure. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh, so why, why did you name it Overcame? Or is it self-explanatory? Nah, well, I guess, uh, you know, if you look at the album cover, it is. But, yeah, you know, it was album. just kind of like, you know, everything I was going through at the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. And you know how that music, it just take your way, help you out, and, you know. So I just, you know, feel like I overcame all of that yeah. every obstacle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I like that. I, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the cover now. I'm, I'm guessing these are some of your family members, mm-hmm. kids, mm-hmm. Right? Uh, yeah, oh, that's hard, that's hard. How, how, how many kids you got? Got five. Five. Yeah. Five. Yeah, I, I got three boys. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, would, would you encourage, I ain't gonna say encourage, but do your kids, do any of your kids uh, seem like they want to go into music too? Yeah, I got a uh my oldest. He be uh he want he want to go to the studio every day. Like, yeah, <laughs> but I be telling him like he's like he next level smart. Yeah. I be telling him like, man, music is like last option. You know what I'm saying? Just being real, like yeah. it's it's last option. Like you got so much you can do, mm-hmm. you know, and be like. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then with music, you know how it is, like. You got to be done, live the certain type of lifestyle, come from a certain type of place. So, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want them to come up the same way. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't coming from that. Yeah. <laughs> right. He ain't coming from that. That's what I was doing it for. You know what I'm saying? What's your opinion on uh, uh, being in, independent versus 
signing a light, signing to a label. Because I know that's been a big topic lately. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> so what, what, all right, so somebody, well, I ain't, well, ain't going to say, I ain't going to get no specific. Yeah. But uh, what would you need to happen in order for you to, like, sign to a label or something? See, like, see, my label is my family. So, you know, and this is something we all been built up from, you know, yeah. years ago. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like we we don't need it. Like, yeah. long as we keep hustling, work hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can match what a label doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and then it's so easy now. Like, the internet, all of that. Like, it's so easy. You can get your own money. Like, you can get your own money. Like, yeah. so... I don't know. Labor really just got to, you know. And that's what they be doing, though. Like, you got to come with some outrageous numbers to really even just get yeah. in, you know, like certain people mix. Because yeah. yeah. everybody know you can stay independent. You can do it on your own, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it's one of those things where I, I feel like, all right, so you, y'all got your own label or whatever. <clears throat> or whatever. Uh, I think y'all would do good, like, a team up type of thing. Like, yeah. Not necessarily signed to partnerships. Yeah, like yeah, like like a partnership, like deals. Label like, deals, yeah. stuff like that. Like yeah, exactly. Cause uh, I was talking to uh, Rainwater, and he was like, the, the small labels is really where it's at now. Like you know, what I'm saying? yeah, like the small independent labels. You know what I'm saying? Cause the major labels, they got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, for real. <laughs> they laying people off and all type of shit. Going on. That's cause they giving them artists their money and they ain't really getting nothing out of. It. Cause like I say, the artists done found so many ways to make money now. Yeah. So they giving out all that money and they ain't getting nothing back. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's right. yeah. Artists might sign to a label and really don't get them nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like no albums, no nothing. I'ma just drop singles, mm. go on the road. You know, keep. You know what I'm saying? Like. I ain't even doing them for real, but having fun and like exactly. go on the road, get get paid off of shows, like and I ain't never gotta get y'all you you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, depending on the contract, but right, right. you know, like ready to get dropped. I just wanted that advance or whatever, whatever, you know, whatever I gotta pay back that two, three hundred thousand, man, I done ran up a million dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, uh, let me talk about this album again, man. Uh, overcame it. Um what would you say is like the biggest thing that you had to overcome? Uh, my son died. I got a two. Well, I had a two-year-old son. He passed. You know. Okay. How, how long ago was that? It was like four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. Okay. So that was your first. first one. Oh. Nah, nah. That was my first. He was. That was my uh, fourth child. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. All right. So when that happened. You said about four years ago. So when that happened, did, did it like slow you down a little bit as far as music and shit like that or what? Nah, uh, I really in the streets. It kind of really, you know, brought me back closer to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 